Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Massive thank you uh, to everyone who watched yesterday's video and you watched it in hefty numbers. So uh, I can't be any more grateful than I am and I'm fully appreciative of that. But I go into some deep details about, you know, my own personal experience with the comic book industry and why I think it's in the current state that it is today and how it's going to be tremendously difficult for comic book shops to survive the current problems that we have now because the industry in my opinion was dying a slow death anyway and and what's happening in current day simply expedited that what happens the very next day that i do the video Pew. probably the worst news that the comic book industry could get right now Worst news for the comic book shops. This is the important thing. Because now, Diamond have announced that they have ceased. Or ceasing distribution of new comics. And if your industry, if your shop is reliant on that, then you are in colossal trouble. And I'm going to go into to some of the reasons that I mentioned yesterday as I go over this video, <clears throat> as well as uh, other issues as regards to how they could potentially get themselves out of certain situations. But I think, uh, for the most part, a lot of these stores are not going to be reopening their doors. Uh, to, uh, a lot of the US is in lockdown. UK went into lockdown today. We, we are now in official lockdown here in the UK as well. So let's get into it. This is a message from Steve Jeppy, or Geppy, uh, who, look, I'm not trying to make light of this situation, but holy shite. If you said, hey, Salvatore, the mafioso boss is on the loose, and then you put up a mugshot, boom, that's what you see. Uh, okay. So let's get into this. Uh, current day effects on distribution. As everyone knows, the world faces ever-increasing challenges related to current day. Its effect on the comics and collectibles and tabletop gaming industries have been felt far and wide. We are hearing from thousands of retailers that they can no longer service their customers as they have in the past. Many of them forced to close by government action or resort to in-person and curbside delivery. Even though still open are seeing reduced foot traffic in most cases, a situation that seems likely to worsen with time. We are in the early stages of the sort of ceasing to distribute process. You have to appreciate that. We've had the current day issues for, you know, six weeks or so now uh, with varying degrees of escalation. But this is something which has just started to happen with distribution. If the first thing that's happened is thousands of retailers saying that they can no longer service their customers as they had in the past. If that is the first thing that we're hearing early doors God knows what it's going to be like in two months. Do you understand? Goodness knows how on earth they're going to survive in a couple of months as a business. It doesn't seem feasible. It doesn't seem it doesn't seem logical that they would be able to continue. Even with curbside and in-person deliveries even if they're making, you know, going to the houses, dropping them in the letterboxes. It's not a practical situation. But now that distribution is going to stop, you've got no new product. And if you've got no new product, you're in so much trouble. Our publishing partners are also faced with numerous issues in their supply chain, working with creators, printers, and increasing uncertainty when it comes to the production and delivery of products for us to distribute. Our freight networks are feeling the strain, and we are already experiencing delays while our distribution centers in New York, California, Pennsylvania are all closed late last week. Our own office here in Maryland instituted a work-from-home policy, and experts say that we can expect further closures. Therefore, 
My only logical conclusion is to cease the distribution of new weekly product until there is greater clarity on the process made towards stemming the spread of current day. Wow. So no new product done. And I think that is the death knell for a colossal amount of comic book shops. I truly do. I just don't see how they are feasibly going to be able to survive without new product. It's all well and good having your Funko Pops and, and you know, your little models and, and stuff like that. Look, pe people ain't going to be buying that. People are not going to be buying that. They're not going to be going onto your store. Foot number one, foot traffic into the stores is going to be so vastly reduced, most cases, to zero. Particularly if we get further lockdowns. But nobody's going to be phoning up this store and saying, yeah, yeah, can I have a, a, a Funko Pop of Harley Quinn, please? It's not going to happen. So all the other little trinkets that they have in their store in an effort to keep people's interests because Marvel keeps selling them shit because the comic book industry is run by a bunch of far left extreme knobheads that have been funneling out their propagandist shite for years now that comic book shops can't sell your dross. So they have to rely on other means. And those other means are not going to see them through this process at all. That's why it's been a slow death expedited by current day. <sighs> Effect on Diamond comic distributors. Product distributed by Diamond and slated for an on-sale date of April 1st or later will not be shipped to retailers until further notice. For the time being, however, we have been able to develop procedures with our teams at the distribution centre in Olive Branch, MS, to safely continue fulfilment of direct ship reorders for the retailers who are able to receive new product and need it to service their customers. It's unlikely that orders will be filled on the same day they are placed, and these plans are subject to change if any point we no longer feel that we can safeguard our teams while fulfilling orders. So, no diamond, uh, no distribution for slated on sale date of April 1st or later. So, does that mean, unfortunately, that... Uh, Marvel's new warriors and their children of the atom. Shite. Unfortunately, doesn't go on sale for them. Oh, well. There's a, there's a terrible one. But look, I, uh, you know, I've got, I've, I've got a back order of certain things. Catwoman's, Batman's, Detective Comics. Looks like they're all going to be put on hold for a while. So what happens uh, with the... I'll, actually, I'll get on to that in a, in, a, in a little bit. Production distributed by Diamond UK and slated for an on-sale date of March 25th or later will not be shipped to retailers until further notice. Further updates with regard to reorders and other Diamond UK-specific information will be communicated directly to their customers as information becomes available. So here in the UK, we're cut off a week early. <clears throat> a week earlier, in essence. Again, it's, you know, a portion of the audience just gone now. So, if you are the uh, actual creator of this, if you are your Marvel and your DCs and whatnot, how are you going to get product to your customers? Well, they, of course, both have their ability to put them into digital format. Are people going to move from hard copy from comic tangible comic to digital product I, I know i won't no way i have no interest in digital product because in my eyes digital product has no value whatsoever that's why i have my comic collection there 
all 12 boxes of 300 comics each. That's why I have my collection. Because I like the tangibility of it. I like the age of it. I like the history of it. I like to know where it came from, who created it at the time. All that's all that's good stuff. Digitally, it's meaningless for me. I don't get that same feeling that I get with a tangible comic. Absolutely happy for you to disagree with me on this one. If you're able to go, I don't care if it's digital or, or tangible. Doesn't it's irrelevant to me? Fine, that's great. But I'm an old school guy and I like tangible product because I own it. I own it. Anything that I own digitally, what's to stop thing, companies from going out of business? What's to stop companies from shutting down certain aspects if they're not profitable? You could lose everything that you invested your money in. That's why I like tangible product. So I can put a disc in into a console that I own. And the vast majority of them will work offline, so it doesn't matter if I even have the online facility. The internet goes down, I plug one of these in, I plug one of those in, boom, I'm away. Tangible product. The internet goes down, I can't read my digital comics unless I've downloaded them, I guess. If, of course, they allow you to do that. So I like tangible, and I think the vast majority of comic uh, collectors like tangible. That's why we purchase the physical format, and we haven't moved to the digital format, because we don't want to. Oh, our shared path forward, just going to skip past the game distribution stuff. With these changes to our distribution strategy... We will work with our publishing partners to develop programs that will address product already in the pipeline and what will happen when we resume distribution. We know that during this time you will face many challenges, no shit Sherlock, and we will direct our energies towards addressing them rather than fighting on increasingly numerous fronts to get product out. If only you had good product in the first place then comic stores probably wouldn't have been... This isn't Diamond's fault, by the way. I'm not blaming Diamond for this. They're just a distributor. But just imagine if they had better product in the first place. Then comic shops literally wouldn't be moving month to month. And so when product is cut off, then they are cut off. And the likelihood is thousands and thousands of comic stores are going to go under because of this. Luxuries... They're one of the biggest hit in crisis times because people aren't interested in luxuries. They're interested in making sure they have the ability to survive. So more practical measures come into place. For those retailers who remain open in various forms, I encourage you, let loose your own creativity. Yeah. You, unfortunately, are going to have to be more creative because the industry that actually creates the product, DC, Marvel, Image, those are big ones which have been guilty as hell, Dark Horse as well in some cases, are producing trash. Trash. Because they've hired trash people to work for them based off political ideology or to tick diversity boxes. And it's dwindled and dwindled away comic book readers. And it got to a point now where we see distribution numbers. But exactly how much is sold. And with DC and Marvel and whatnot, none of them allowing the return of comics. How many comic book shops, month after month after month, have to eat, have to eat the cost of some of their comics? Because Marvel have thrown shit at them to try and sell. When I said yesterday that all the chickens had come home to roost, it has. And Marvel and DC and all them lot. DC still haven't come out with a goddamn statement for Christ's sake. Jim Lee. Chocolate fire guard. Absolute chocolate fire guard. They don't care. 
If they cared, they wouldn't be putting out the shite that they've been putting out. And the stories they've been putting out. And the destruction of the beloved characters that they've been putting out. And the pushing of unlikable, hideous characters which they've been putting out. Because it serves their own ideology. Then maybe, just maybe, if comic book shops had a better buffer, a better, uh, you know, better buffer egg. Because they actually were able to sell a lot of comics based off the product that you were providing with them and the quality of the product that you were providing for them then maybe they'll be able to survive this but they can't they can't because we're in the opening stages and thousands of retailers can no longer service their customers they way the way they have in the past so yeah it's what we thought was going to happen um it has now happened so unfortunately it is a stark reality for a lot of comic book shops and i seriously do not think that a lot of them are going to make this they're not going to be able to get through this i think that we're going to lose a, a, a colossal proportion i don't know exactly how many i would i would guesstimate uh, of at least 40 percent. i would say comic shops are going to go and if uh, if Marvel and DC and that lot, if they've got to resort to the distribution themselves, that is a lot of stuff to try and get into place. Never mind in these current days, just in general. And the additional cost that that would bring to them, the additional hassle that would bring to them. And if they think people are going to jump onto their digital platforms en masse, I think they're going to be sorely disappointed. Sorely disappointed. So it's a, it's a whopper. It's an absolute whopper. Is it over? I tell you what, let's see in a couple of months time, eh? Let's see what's going around. The only thing that we can hope is this blows over ridiculously quickly. Ridiculously quickly. But even then, to get those cogs back turning again, certain shops will probably have already made the decision, we're done. Oy vey. Right, there we go, folks. So, uh, Diamond ceasing distribution. Uh, April the 1st sale date for the US. 25th of March sale date for the UK. And then it's wait and see now. Wait and see. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Links are in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.